Yeah. Good, after, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Roland Roberts, and I am here in uh, West Palm Beach with my good friend, Tom Feltenstein. Greetings. Tom uh, has just become such a special friend in, in the relationship that we built um, personally and professionally. And, you know, we were talking about how there is no one else that I've ever talked branding, strategy, uh, marketing with that really got it and understood it, not just what works in one situation, but the underlying principles that need to be applied to each unique situation. And we sit around your table and talk about that for hours and, uh, and be able to strategize about that. So it's one of the things I enjoy most about being with you. Well, I love having you and your wife down here. It's beautiful. Thank you. And what you're doing and what your mission is. Uh, is incredible. You know, people are in business, but very often we lose our value system mm -hmm. and our principles and our standards. And what you talk about all the time is how to raise the bar in terms of the kindness and how you feel about yourself. Because I've always thought the more I work on Tom, that's the love and the kindness that I can give away to everybody else. But I've got to be, I've got to always work on Tom. You know, it's interesting. Most people who watch this or, or, or really are, that are entrepreneurs anyway, or people trying to grow their business, the first question they always ask me, I'm sure they do to you, is what do, you, what do I do? Tell me what to do and I'll do it. And as we know, it's probably nothing they need to do first anyway. It's some, someone they need to be. <laughs> They, there's something they have to work on, yeah. and then we can get to some of the doing, you know, and the execution and things like that, but it might be a mindset that needs to be changed, a perspective that needs to be broadened or, 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 or altered. So uh, I, I, think, I think you said it, it's, it's, it's being, not just doing. And it's always whatever business you're in, it's always about inside your four walls. It's about the people the number one responsibility for any manager or owner is recruiting. See, the business is no different than sports. The teams with the great players wins. Mm. So there's a whole formula on how you recruit those types of people. And it's not just that they're brilliant, but what their core values are. Yes. You know, one of the things you all did at McDonald's was uh, having the campaign, We Hire Smiling Faces. We, uh, and I remember, you know, w one of the things that was so brilliant about that is you recognized that you cannot train happy. You don't teach happy. You hire happy. <laughs> you, you, we hire smiling faces who are genuinely happy. You hire the attitude and train the skills. Absolutely, yes, exactly. Exactly. And it's funny you mentioned the four walls, inside the four walls, because one of the things that you did years ago, and I don't know how old I was, I, I feel like I was you know, 20 to 25 years old, somewhere in that range, <laughs> but somehow some of your material got into my hands, uh, and, and I could not put it down. I did not. I studied it. Most people, they put in a tape or a CD and they play it once and it goes in, you know, in storage. Uh, I wore my tapes out. I wore the CDs out because I would not drive without learning, you know, the university on wheels kind of thing. And this particular audio set was, a, was and is $119. Uh, and, and that's, I have got stacks of, 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 tape sets and CD sets that I spent $119 on. And, and then, but, but this, this one right here, uh, the content on here, I keep on my, I've got one bookshelf in my library that I keep close to me with all the material that I need to be able to quickly grab for a resource if I'm on the phone or if I'm talking to somebody. The material that's on this particular one is what I have within arm's reach of my desk. And this is called The Local Entrepreneur the local entrepreneur. So, and what I loved about it is, you know, this is, uh, you use the illustration of like the pizza shop or a local deli or, 
you know, a, 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 the local barber, you're opening up a dental practice. It was the local business, the local entrepreneur. And, uh, and he talks about, you know, well, it's the subtitle, Shortcut to Extraordinary Profits Using Neighborhood Marketing. Uh, and the whole principle of neighborhood marketing was just absolutely phenomenal. And he focuses on, focuses on inside the four walls and then the, the radius of your business and how to absolutely dominate your radius for the local entre entrepreneur. And, uh, and so one of the things that Tom has, he's generously gifted this for a specific reason and purpose because all of our entrepreneurs uh, and uh, that come on the CEO crew, entrepreneur crews, um, we want you to have the ability to get Tom's material now. And so the next person that registers for the CEO crews uh, that upgrades for our VIP package, you're going to get this $119 set for free. I'll put it in the mail this afternoon <laughs> if it comes through this uh, uh, in the next few minutes. But um, but the next person who gets the VIP package for the CEO cruise, we're going to mail this exact one that, that I'm holding and that Tom is is touching here. Well, let, in let's, give to, let's give it to every VIP instead of the next one. Every, let's do that. If, if, if we, we'll, we'll do that. We have what the heck? We have one. Okay. Well, every, every if you upgrade to our VIP package, we will mail you one of these immediately. That gives you five six months here to be implementing it into your business, growing your profits, and and quite frankly, uh, you should pay. You be able to pay for the cruise a hundred times over between now and then if you implement what they learn. Well, it would also here. be my pleasure on the cruise to sit with them for 15 minutes and discuss some of the issues that they may have in their business or some of the questions they may have from listening to that. Because mm. there's eight CDs in there, there's a DVD, and there's a 100-page workbook that walks you through all the strategy on how to market in your specific neighborhood. Mm. I, I mean, the, the amount of money that's, that's right here and you hear the phrase, leaving money on the table, and every single one of these entrepreneurs know they're leaving money on the table somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. And they know intuitively, if I change this one thing of the customer service, if I change this one uh, aspect of the system, uh, our sales or our uh, profit, you know, would soar significantly. And uh, I, this is just such rare content that uh, they, you just can't get anywhere else. It's a way of thinking. That's one of the reasons why we connect so well because yeah. it's, it's a unique way of thinking. And more than anything, you know, we've had the Steve Jobs of our era, pe people who changed industries, people who changed, you know, music or, or, or technology, software. Um, but, you, but you have, you, the contributions that you've made are absolutely just in the same aura as, as, as these others and you're a living legend with us and I think one of the things maybe in your book Uncommon Wisdom but I, and if it's not in there I've heard you say it <laughs> you, you send you send them, send them flowers while they're living don't wait till they're dead you know get you, you send flowers uh, it's too late by the time, by the time right, I want to plant a tree that I will never see grow yeah if you turn behind here you see that picture right there mm -hmm. take that take that out for a second yeah that's the first Ronald McDonald house in the world. And you can mm -hmm. see the Ronald on the side and everything. That was number number one in Philadelphia. And, and you opened this, right? One very cool thing, yeah. It was a big deal. There's over 225 in, in, the, in the world today in helping kids with leukemia, their families and everything. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what... Uh, this can happen on the cruise to the people who come. Uh, you know, one of the things that that I remember get this here. Um, the the it's it's the little moments when the biggest things happen in your life or business. We were talking one day about the little kitchen table that you were at when the Happy Meal was kind of first brought up, you know? 
Well, it, <clears throat> we, we knew that kids 2 to 11 were our prime target audience. So we had to create something. So I mean, it was a year or two that we were talking and everything. What was interesting is back in 1910, the Cracker Jack box came to mind. Well, what was in there was a toy. Mm -hmm. So in one of the meetings, some guy said, how about putting a toy in there? And he held up the Cracker Jack box at the same time. Then a month later, when we made our first order for the toys, we became the largest toy company in the world. Oh, wow. But, you know, it would figure because of our our quantity and how big we were and everything. Mm -hmm. Today, there's 38,000 McDonald's worldwide. 50 million people per day go on a McDonald's. Wow. A lot of stores. The last night we checked into the hotel in Pittsburgh. And Ed calls me around 10. He says, get, get dressed, we're gonna go out. I said, yes, sir, <laughs> you know, what, what are you gonna say? So we're driving and we go to this big plant I mean, this plant is just huge. And we walk in, and Ed goes up, and he's watching the buns come off of the bun place. Mm -hmm. And he started counting how many sesame seeds there were on each bun. Mm -hmm. That's how detailed everything was, the system. I want to know how many sesame seeds. I want to go and visit the bun places and all of that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? It, it, it's it's the lost it's art just, in business. It's common yeah. sense, really, to us. Yeah. But it's just lost. Totally. Um, and, and and you know, I mean, you worked with Ray uh, Ray Kroc and, and and others. I mean, just the the stories, the experiences uh, that really the mind, the, the and applying systems thinking to marketing, and it's one of the same. So yeah. the sales. If I I don't know if you can get this. But up there is the picture of Mr. Croc and I at the opening of the first Ronald McDonald House. Mm. Right there, 1974 in Philadelphia. I mean, that was, that was an extraordinary day. The press conferences, you know, everything that went, that went, went, went on. Mm -hmm. and Ray fought coming flying down from Chicago, our headquarters. Said, ah, another harebrained scheme and so forth. <laughs> and he flew down. And all of a sudden, he walks up and says, you know, I'm giving $200,000 to every house that opens. Wow. So he was, uh, he was overwhelmed. Hmm. And so, I mean, the franchise community, I mean, so many of the people were. Yeah. But, uh, it all started with Fred Hill from the Philadelphia Eagles. This kid had leukemia. He couldn't afford to go and spend three or four weeks with his kids. But most of the families who went down didn't have the money for a month to stay at a hotel. Right. So they stayed at the Ronald House for $5 a night. If they didn't have the $5, it was free. Wow. And it was a happy atmosphere also. Right. All the toys. and. Ronald would come by once in a while. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's pretty unreal. Cool. Well, we're we're here to serve you. We're here. We're just we want to serve you. That's why we host the CEO cruise. Tom was on the the last CEO cruise, and and uh, God willing, he'll be on the next CEO cruise uh, in October seventh through the ninth. You can register at ceocruise.com. But more than anything, I want you. I, I want to make sure this gets in your hands. When I saw this again, I'm just it just it's so many memories because it's stuff that that was foundational to me becoming a CEO, me running companies, creating brands like the hoverboard uh, and and the, and the massive global success that these were. Uh, it was understanding these principles right here uh, with, for the local entrepreneur and my heart beats entrepreneurship. I just love people who will, who will sacrifice for what they believe in. They will work hard for it. They don't expect somebody to hand it to them, but they, 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 they want to learn. Yeah. Uh, and they're, and, and, and they will execute, they will implement this. You know, just, 
I always say your front line is your bottom line. So at McDonald's, it's always the front line, the franchise community. Franchisee invented the Big Mac. Another one did the Egg McMuffin. Another one the fish sandwich. It's just a mix, because they're right there, hands on. Yeah. yeah it was so amazing, because there are those people on, your, on the front line that are dealing with the customers. Mm -hmm. that we didn't know of it. We called McDonald's uh, Hamburger Heaven. <laughs> the corporate or, office? The corporate office yeah. or Puzzle Palace. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens unless you're in the field. You can't sit behind a desk. Yeah. You gotta be out there face to face with people. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely agree. I mean, this has just been wonderful. Thank you, Tom. Thank, well, thank you for you your for friendship, down. your generosity, uh, your heart for giving to the next generation, but not even to just the next generation, just to, to, to entrepreneurs and people who just leaving a legacy, leaving, leaving your legacy. God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Peace.